doing is adding the end game, which means when an alien actually touches one of our, our spaceship, um, we'll have to check for that collision and the game will end and the user will have the option to play over again. So last time we were here, um, we added in the code so that we could add seed score. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add in some text to let the user know that the game has ended. So we'll just do the same kind of thing like we've done before, and we'll add in a variable that will hold a piece of text. In this case, it's called game over text, and our style for the text. It's going to be the same size as last time, but this time it's just going to be completely red. Um, now we don't want the text to show up right at the beginning, so we are not going to put it in create like we have before, because we only want this text to show up when the spaceships, one of the aliens, touches our spaceship. So we're going to have to create the code that's going to do that, and it's going to be quite similar to the collision code we have right here. So we have our collision code between the missile and the aliens, and we're going to write something that is quite similar to that. So I'm just going to paste it in, and then I'll explain what it does. So you'll notice it is um, a physics collider, just like we have before, this time between the spaceship and the alien group, so any one of the aliens. And then we pass in the ship and the alien that is colliding. Um, when this happens, we're going to play this sound boom, and if we do have this already right here in our assets. We're also going to pause the physics. Um, so that the aliens stop coming down. We're going to destroy the alien and our spaceship. And then we're going to finally add the text to our game over text variable. And we're going to say game over and on a new line, that's what the slash n is, it's going to say um, click to play again. And we're going to use the style we selected, which will be the bed. And we're going to make it centered. The text. We're also going to add something else to this piece of text. We're going to set it interactive, and that means that we can um, find out whether the user clicks on it. Um, so if they do a pointer down, which means they put the pointer on and actually click it, like you would with any mouse, um, then we're going to start a scene, and the scene we're going to start obviously is the game scene, so that will start over again. So we'll just restart our game. So let's see how this goes. So we should still be able to see the score update when we shoot the million. And if we get touched now, you'll notice the alien that touched me vanished, but the other one stopped moving. I also vanished, and we have this option, and when you hover over, you get the finger. A uh, little pointer so you know you can do something, and when you click, the game starts over again. 